So AQA, one of the biggest exam boards, have had to change paper 3A for A-level physics. In this video, I'm going to explain why that is and the kind of changes that you can expect. So all schools that are going to be sitting the A-level AQA papers, they've already been given this information and I've linked to it just beneath the video so you can read the full documentation. And this outlines the changes which are going to occur. But why are they doing this in the first place? Well, simply the 2023 papers were just far too difficult. I've actually looked at the grade boundaries. I've got some other documents here, including the actual paper and the examiner's report. I can't show you them to you in the video due to copyright restrictions. Um, but, you know, even things like the examiner's report says that, you know, for question 3.7, only about a third of the students could make progress. Now, when the exam board is asking a question that two thirds of the students can't even have a go at, then that question is too difficult. And this is reflected in the grade boundaries. So for the paper, which was out of 45 marks for paper 3A, you had to get 25 marks to get an A star, or you had to get 19 to get a grade A. Now, putting that into percentages, the most able students getting the top grades only had to get 56% to get an A star on that paper, or they had to get 42% to get an A grade. Now, if students getting these top grades can get more than half the questions incorrect, and still come out with a grade A from that exam, that just means that the questions were just too difficult and too challenging. In actual fact, uh, I looked at the grade boundaries for the second part of paper 3A, uh, which is the optional topic, um, and for students who had to get 56% for an A star in the first part, those same students had to get 80% on the second part of the paper for an A star, for the turning points module. Now, what that really shows is that students are, have obviously been working hard, they know how to answer exam questions, they've got a really good understanding of physics, but even then they couldn't access the questions on the paper, especially under exam conditions where you don't have lots and lots of time. Now of course the paper was too hard, but it didn't affect the grades that were actually awarded because they had to lower the grade boundaries so much. So those who did AQA weren't any worse off than those doing Edexcel or OCR. It just meant all of those students came out of the exams feeling awful because they couldn't answer most of the questions. So um, yeah, the paper last year, and this is actually still important because if you've got exams coming up this summer, then there's a high likelihood that your teachers are going to be giving you the 2023 papers either as mock exams or as things to work through to prepare for the exams coming up this summer. So if you're in year 13 at the moment and you sit down to a mock exam and you come out feeling awful because you couldn't answer most of the questions, don't worry about it because every other student will be in exactly the same position. And I suspect that most teachers will let you know that in advance that these question papers were just too difficult. Um, so what are AQA going to do about it? Well, the change they're gonna make is that simply before the questions they've already written and are going to be asking this summer, they're just gonna put a sentence that relates that question to one of the required practicals that you'll have already done in class. So for example, the, 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 the thing that they talk about here, they say um, a sentence could be added to the stem of the question as appropriate. For example, this question is based on required practical activity eight, investigation of Boyle's law and Charles's law for a gas. So rather than just having a question about a random experiment, they're just gonna add a sentence, maybe relating that to one of the experiments that you will have carried out before. Now that is the change. I don't think, however, that it's really going to help you because even if you were doing the 2023 paper, uh, the first question, um, it's talking about a stroboscope initially, uh, it then has a ball bouncing, and you know very soon you realize that the experiment that they're asking questions about is about measuring G by freefall, okay? And having a sentence at the beginning of the question doesn't necessarily help you because it's pretty obvious that that question is about G by freefall. So um, there is a change. I would say it's worth having because at least uh, if you're not sure where the question is coming from, you'll at least be able to relate that to something you've currently done in class. And then it's the case of just reading the question carefully trying to remember some of the things that you've learned over the course, 
Um, and this is going to be about the experimental method, about dealing with errors, about drawing a line of best fit, about uncertainty, all of those kind of good bits of physics that you are very good at. And just realizing that when it comes to the exam, if it is really challenging and it's really difficult and it doesn't make any sense to you, who's someone who's prepared for the exam, then everybody else is going to find it challenging as well. And the grade boundaries are going to be adjusted accordingly. Now, um, there's lots of questions out there that you can use to prepare for paper one, paper two, and the second part of paper three. It is a bit more difficult to try and prepare for paper three A. So what I did was I've written three practice papers. Um, they're not predicted because I've got no idea what's going to come up, but I've got these practice papers that you can download on my website. Again, I've got a link beneath this video. And what I have there, in addition to, to all of the questions and the mark scheme, I also have my worked solutions. So you can see the kind of approach that a physics teacher would take as they answer this question. And I know that uh, the people who used this last year really, really benefited from it. So I've got three papers. I've got alpha, beta and gamma. Uh, they're just different versions. So if you want to, uh, you can head over to my shop, you can download a copy of this and that's gonna help you prepare for your exams coming up this summer. So um, yeah, there is a change. It's basically just an extra sentence in the question, but hopefully that should allow you to access that question to get all the marks which are available. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to stay updated with any more things that I find out about, make sure that you do subscribe to me on YouTube. And also you can head over to my website, which is alevelphysicsonline.com to find all the videos that you need to help you prepare for your exams this summer.